Okay, should we be buying some stocks tomorrow? As you could tell, the SP 500 did have a nice push up today. Tesla stock had drowned, drowned, down day today. As you can tell, all the crypto stocks actually crashed down today. Bitcoin is going down today. So we're going to talk about all the stocks. Also, AMC, GameStop, SoFi, Palantir, and much more. So just make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you guys get the video over 150 likes. And let's get straight into it. So AMC needs to break $5.20 for me to be interested in playing it. Right now, it's not really doing much. So can't really do much with it. It has to come all the way back up here. Then that's interesting to play it. Okay. So it has to break that. has to break a key resistance area. Boom. GameStop has to break 1550 for me to be interested in it. So far, it's not doing anything. And it is on a downtrend, right? So you don't really want to play something on a downtrend. You rather wait for it to build support, start breaking resistance, start showing signs it wants to go higher. So it has to break 1550 for me to be interested in it. Boom. Palantir stock still has not moved in over two, almost three weeks. We have support at $15, resistance at $17.50. Still the same levels in between this area. I'm not looking to do anything with Palantir. Once we start breaking the resistance, then that gets a little interesting. We might start to get bigger movement to the higher side. Also be mindful, we're about to get in a lot of earnings for a lot of stocks. So know what earnings, any stock you're playing, what it is, and so forth, okay? But Palantir's a little stall. Can't really do much with it. SoFi stock. Test the support today at $7.35. You can tell. See how it dropped down, tried to hold it, broke it here, but came right back up to it. So this was a test. Then it came back. So it did not break support. And support is still holding. This is why I say never miss a video. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Best levels in the game. I'm really not looking to play SoFi stock until we break like $8.40. If we can hold support here and then slowly start to go back up, that would be nice. We did play SoFi stock on the team. We bought in here and then we sold up here. So we already played it. And so far, there just hasn't been a good play. And it's been almost two months. It has not been a good play on SoFi since. So we got to wait for a play to form on it. But there will be one coming soon. They also have earnings on the 29th of January. That might start making them move because they weren't moving a lot. They had earnings. And then like a couple weeks later, they had the big rise. So we'll see if that happens again. But SoFi stock still same levels, not too much going on with it right now and not anything I really want to buy where it is now. OK, Apple stock finally broke resistance to the higher side. It held support good twice. Held support here went up. Held support here went up more. So that is good. Resistance level has been broken. We could take resistance level off now. I'll leave that support on there. Nothing too much going on with Apple stock. Not really anything I want to trade per se, but support held doing good. I'll probably wait for earnings to see what happens with um, Apple stock because that'll be a little more beneficial and it'll be a little more bigger movement. I think Apple's going to get. Make sure you join the team as well. We did an AMD put option play today. Did a exit at 10%, 0%, and then a 20%. I literally been showing y'all wins. We have we lost zero scalps this week that you could have been in if you joined the team first thing in the description. That brought right in around $6.45 for me. The whole team ate as well. First thing in the description, only $65 a month, $6.50 for the year, $49.9 one-time fee that comes with personal training. After pay is available for lifetime and elite year, $6.99 one-time fee if you want personal training just by itself. Will now let us have That's the email to um, email me if you need any questions or anything. But make sure you join the team. Fast track your success. Actually learn. Actually learn how to build consistent profits per week. It is very crucial. Okay, so that's Apple stock. Let's check the oil sector. OXY trying to hold that support at $56. Support is still the same. Now we not, now we need to start getting push off it, but I'm honestly not looking to play the upside on oil until we come back and break 60. That's what I'm looking to play it up to about like 65 on OXY. That would be a nice game, maybe call options and so forth, but it has to go all the way back up here. So in the, between this area, I'm not really looking to play it. As a lot of stocks had that pull down, now it's time to build support. Now it's time to break resistance. And now it's time to show that the stocks actually want to go back higher and not just these little retracements like this and then continue dropping, right? You don't want to get caught in those drops. Even though you could play put options like we played put options this morning on AMD. We got private live streams and so forth that you can see for yourself. I'm going to start posting um, some of our sessions at the end of the videos, uh, probably starting tomorrow. So, But support held good. Still watching the same resistance. Let's go ahead and check the gold market real quick. Gold market trying to hold support. All the levels are hitting perfect. 1540 on GOLD for Barack Gold. Holding support good. So now we want some push. But just like oil, it needs to come all the way back up here and break that. Then that's going to show that we actually want to start pushing up to higher rooms of gold, right? Or we can start making the profit. But for right now, it's had too big of a drop to try to play it. And we don't want to play it too early because this drop could continue. So watch that support. As long as that holds, that would be a good sign. They kind of have some nice upper retracements. But it needs a lot more work on the to go on that upside neo stock needs to pass seven dollars eight cents for me to want to play it again another financial advice all educational purposes only
but Neo Sock needs to make a lot of movement, just like Lucid. It's been going down every day for almost over two months. It needs to pass five dollars for me to be interested in it. Very simple. Rivian tried to hold support, broke to it today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take support off now. Once it builds support, let's change resistance. I'm gonna change resistance to about 1750. It needs to break this first, and then maybe we could try to make a reversal play on Rivian stock. But for right now, all the cars are just kind of just crashing down. Tesla's crashing down. We uh if we go over Tesla now. Tesla tried to hold support at 208. Remember that support level I gave y'all? What's the low of today? 208.74. 70 cents away from that support. Held it good. And then we had a little reaction off of that. You'll see that held support. Little reaction off of that. So hopefully Tesla can start making its way back up. But nothing tells me that Tesla wants to go back up until we break 217.50. That is a resistance area that we have right now. Tesla stock right here. So we have to come back up and break that. And then maybe we can start seeing higher size. But for right now... It just looks very bearish. And also, Tesla has earnings next week on Wednesday. Okay, so be mindful of that. That's going to be very big. Tesla's going to have a big movement on earnings. So it's going to either have a huge drop where we can buy a lot more, or it's going to have a huge rise up and actually start the uh, reversal after this huge down movement. So watch out for these two major levels. I think that will also give us a sign of what Tesla might be doing shorter term as well. Okay, in phase stock. Support at 102 doesn't seem like it wants to go down there. It went to a low like 104, 103. Holding support good. Let's see if we can get some reactions. I also think Enphase is going to do better once interest rates start to get cut. I think they'll benefit off of it as well. So be mindful of that. Also, Adobe. I think Adobe might be able to produce something nicely. It hasn't broke all-time highs yet. And I think Adobe could actually reach up to some nicer prices above 700. Right now, it's around 590. So just be mindful of that. Just kind of wanted to throw that one in here because it is very intriguing to me. Uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is breaking support. That is not a good sign. Okay, that is very, that's getting very bearish on Bitcoin. Okay, it is breaking that support at 42,000 and reaching down to lower prices. There is one more support, but that's going to be it. Right around, I would say 40,700. Watch that support, okay? I told y'all if it broke that 42,000 level, we're probably going to be going below 40,000. And so far, that does seem right. So just keep expecting downward movement right now on, on Bitcoin, okay? Just expect downward movement. It'll be the safest bet. I, I won't be expecting any upside movement. Let's move this resistance level until we, we'll probably have to at least break like 43,000, okay? So if we don't break 42,000 anytime shorter term, Bitcoin's probably not going to be having any upper movement shorter term. Once we break 43, then that's probably where we're going to have a nice run up. OK, but we're probably going to be going down here in this area of Bitcoin. Watch that support at 40,700. Watch resistance. These are your two major levels. Whichever one breaks is going to let you know where Bitcoin is going to be moving for the next couple of days or that week or so. OK, so be mindful of that. That's very bearish. And then you look at all the crypto stocks. What is HUT doing? Crash down, broke support heavy too. very, very heavy of break of support. So HUT new support is around $6.85. This is why I said you don't want to be chasing price. You want to wait for strategic entry, strategic exit, and just be patient, right? If you were chasing this, you'd be down a lot right now, right? Never bought HUT, just never confirmed, and now we're just waiting, right? So HUT new support, $6.85. I am looking to play it. I'm just waiting for it to kind of build that support, build the reversals, and then when I believe Bitcoin is going to start going up again, when I believe crypto is going to start going up again, that's when I'm going to go heavy on all the crypto market, the like Cardano, Solana, all that, and also the crypto stock. So Riot, $10.30, still same support. That's holding pretty nicely. Mara holding support nicely, too, at $16. Watch out for that. I'm looking to play all these. I'm just watching when support holds. So $16 on Mara, still support. And then Coinbase is actually testing that support now, kind of breaking a little bit, but we'll wait for tomorrow to see if we get that confirmed breakage. But watch around 125.50. I think Coinbase is going to have a huge movement. But remember what I told y'all, Coinbase moves like 140% up, then it crashes and stalls out for like two, three months, then it has another run. Crash out, stalls out for two, three months, then it has another run. Now it's crashing, it's probably going to stall out, and we'll probably get a run maybe in February or maybe March on Coinbase, okay? Usually probably like around the earnings and we have earnings like in March. Uh, no, February 21st, we have earnings on Coinbase. So a big play on Coinbase is coming soon. I'm just waiting for it to build that support. Kind of like it built support here, stalled, and then it had to run. Build support here, stalled, it had to run. So it does do that a lot of times. So that's what I'm waiting for here. Then I'm looking for that big run like we caught it. We went on 102 and went all the way up there. So 
I am looking for the next one. Just watch 125.50 on uh, Coinbase. Don't forget, join the team. First in that description. We got Elite, $65 a month, $650 for the year, $14.99 one time fee. After pays available, lifetime and early year. We literally win every week. I don't know how many plays I have to show y'all. Literally every day we've been winning. Jump, it's only $65 a month, okay? I could be charging $200 a month, okay? So, uh, yeah, that's the crypto sector. We talked about gold sector, oil sector. PayPal actually had a nice reversal up, held support twice, and actually had a very nice reversal up, okay? So, I think I might be getting my leap calls back again. I already have long-term shares. I think that would do very good, but I think I might be starting to get more call options on PayPal. I'm going to still wait a little bit. We got to break at least above 63, but once we do that, I think PayPal might have a big run, so kind of watch out for that. Disney stock kind of stalled out for the last month or so since like beginning of December, but hopefully we can start making our way up and not break this support. As long as we don't break this support, I'm expecting higher prices on uh disney stock to actually start reaching up to higher prices because that might be good also starbucks has been crashing a lot with all the news and stuff but it does present a nice opportunity to play a reversal on starbucks they also have earnings on january 30th which their earnings might be hurt so be mindful of that we might have a bigger crash down on earnings but i am looking for a potential reversal somewhere in this area on starbucks right so it's a big area but that's just kind of what i'm looking at uh for reversal on starbucks which i think will be nice AMD stock, let's see, so AMD stock, uh, I can take all this off, AMD is the one that we actually played, we scalped this morning, I wrote it in the last video, make sure you watch the last video, it has an SP500 and it has an AMD play that we did today of how it entered and so forth, we have private live streams every day where we go over it, but uh, AMD stock hit our target, we played it this morning, pretty much done for me, uh, NVIDIA stocks at all time highs, there's not too much I could do with NVIDIA stock right now either, we have Intel, uh, I am looking to play Intel, uh, I don't, I can't remember if we sold our shares or not, but I think Intel is going to be the next mover besides NVIDIA and AMD. I think Intel might be that next mover. So the main thing I want to watch out for right now on Intel that we can all start watching again, all fi is not financial advice, all educational purposes only. I'm watching around 4780, right? So this is a resistance area I'm kind of watching on Intel. Once that starts breaking, that might give me a sign that Intel wants to start pushing back up and start going to higher prices. So watch that 4780, okay? That might be a big thing. But like I said, we're about to come to a lot of earnings in the next week or two. So be mindful of that. Meta stock kind of dipped below support, but technically support hell because even though it dipped below it like this, it came right back up to it by end day. So support was actually bringing price back up. Then we had that big pop off today on uh, Meta stock to higher prices. Is there something to play on Meta stock? Probably just all time highs. And that'll be pretty much it. So just expect Meta stock to break probably like 380 or so to the higher side. Like I said, with the car market, start watching those interest rates like Carvana is trying to hold support around 40. That's probably going to start pushing us up to higher prices on that. DWAC uh, went up more, never came back down to hold the support. So there's no clear support right now, but the closer we probably get to elections, the more you're going to see DWAC start moving. So be mindful of that. Maybe there might be something on it, but just not too sure just yet. Affirm holding support at $40. Good. Nothing to nothing to do right now on the firm but it is holding support so for now just see how that support holds does it break does it stall out here or do we start getting upper movement if we start getting upper movement then that would be intriguing but for right now nothing tells us that we want to go up right now on a firm okay but other than that thank you guys for watching the video oh also baba still looking for that reversal not ready yet and also boeing i'm still looking for that reversal seemed like it doesn't want to break that support but so far this is just normal retracing like it went up here crash went up here crash and now it's going to begin it might crash again so be mindful of that but I am still looking at a reversal on this one. Thank you guys for watching the video. Follow me on Instagram, Knowledge. Let's get over 10K followers. And always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye.